Hey, so the World Cup has come to an end and there's quite a few things that we can learn that we could have learned from the World Cup. Uh, first of all, that even though you're a star player, doesn't mean you'll always succeed. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Uh, a lot of people are talking down Leo Messi's performances in the World Cup, but <laughs> come on guys, man. He was, he was carrying Argentina. More so than Ronaldo was, because obviously Ronaldo didn't succeed in doing that because they flopped out in the first round. Uh, so, credit for credit is due. You'll see lots of these posts floating around on Twitter, like saying, stating all the stuff that Messi did. There might be some doubt over whether he deserved the Golden Ball, but he definitely had a boss tournament. Maybe one of the German players should have won it, but the German players, I, I, I can understand FIFA's thought process behind giving it to Messi. Because Messi was a stand-up player of the tournament. I mean, his team did come to the final. Germany were the stand-up team. That's why they won. They had lots of, not mini stars even, lots of, like, all of the players in the German team basically are stars. But there was no need for them to carry the entire team like Lionel Messi had to do. They were like, such a well-oiled machine. Everything just clicked together. And... If you watched the last World Cup, you would have seen it happening then already when Ozil and Kadira and all these players were slightly younger. You could already see glimpses of, of what was going to happen and that was just a process from that time already coming to fruition in this World Cup. Something that Safa can learn a little bit about. You don't suddenly just have an, an awesome team. It comes from the grassroots. And until uh, Papana Papana and the PSL and Safa wake up and smell the realism happening, South Africa is never going to have a top team. I firmly believe, maybe not the next World Cup, but the World Cup after that, uh, with all the money being splashed around in football and the, the players from Africa becoming better and better than Two World Cups from now, an African team can win it. My players of the tournament, Messi obviously, um, the whole German team, you can't, you can't single out any player because that whole team is like one super player. Neuer, Schürrle, Ozil, Schweinsteiger, all of them were freaking boss, that whole team. Uh, then of course, James Rodriguez. Um, then of course, Ayn Robin. A lot of people criticize him about his diving, but come on. He's not the only one that dives. Every single uh, big team has three or four players that dive around him. He just got shoved into the limelight for doing it. And then maybe Paul Pogba or Karim Benzema. Uh, I know Paul Pogba won the young player of the tournament award. But Benzema really like shut a lot of people up that were saying that he doesn't perform nationally, internationally. So now it's back to the to the Premier League and all the stuff happening in there. I just hope the team that I support signs some quality with the white money, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm saying yeah. <laughs> Say bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.